one of the first settings you complete in Baselinker will be to add employee profiles. Each newly created account will always have its own profile. This, by default, is an administrator profile. If you are the only person who has access to Baselinker, such a profile is enough. If you want to grant access to third parties, for example, an accountant, to create sales reports and have access to documents, then such a person should create an additional new profile. First of all, the main advantage of creating employee profiles is that you can see when the person has signed in and what changes they made to their profile. For example, if they amended orders or added new products to an order, all of these changes will be visible on the Orders tab. To add a new employee profile, go to the Home page and in the upper right corner, select Employee Profiles. At this point, we should have only one profile visible, which is the automatically created administrator profile. To add a new profile, select a new profile. Enter the name and surname of the employee and then log in. The login must be a unique value. This must be something that no one has ever used in the entire Baselinker system before. Often, customers will enter the username and then the name of the company or part of the company name. Next, enter the password. Choose what language will be visible to a given person. Optionally, you can enter the IP addresses from which a person can log in. Choose whether the verification is to be standard, password only, for example, do we want to additionally enable confirmation by SMS or email. In the next step, we decide what the user will be able to see, what they will have access to. That is, we determine the privileges of a given user. For example, if we are talking about a warehouse employee, well, this person only needs to see orders in the selected status and pack those orders. They do not need to have access to storage or account configuration. Therefore, then we select the first three options to provide access to orders. We also do not have to select automatic actions because this is completed by the administrator. If we grant access to an accountant, then we only need to mark sales statistics and generate a sales report without access to orders. In the next step, we decide what statuses a user has access to. If we do not mark anything, this person will have access to every status. If we select only two options, these two, then the others will be invisible. Then we can assign a default printer for each person. At the moment, we only have one Samsung printer visible in a given profile. However, there may be several printers because each packaging station can have its own printer. For example, we want a person to print only to a selected printer. Then by setting the default printer for a person, we can be sure that they will be able to use it in an automatic action. When the person prints from a given profile, whether it's a label, an invoice, or anything else, the document will be printed on the printer selected here.